Good morning! We are glad to have the opportunity to showcase our Fishery Analyst WebJS application, ADSRI Meshup Challenge 2010. First of all, we would like to say that we were impressed by the ease and fun of development offered by the ArcGIS Server JavaScript APIs and Dojo Framework, as well as by the great performance of working with tasks and client-side graphics. Fishery Analyst Online was developed to effectively query, analyze and visualize spatial and temporal patterns of fisheries dynamics using parameters such as catch, effort and fishing success. But let's move to the application interface. On the left side of the interface we grouped all the query, analytical and configuration functionalities. On the right side we group various types of output, organized in separate tabs, including a map, a table and a chart view, and of course a help page. But let's see all this in action. The first step consists in selecting the fishery data we are interested in by choosing among a series of selection criteria such as the region of interest let's select region AA for now at this point the application is querying the database to populate the other selection based on our first choice let's select now our species of interest for example albacore we now select vessel characteristics for example a length range date interval we can then decide if we are interested in having only information about the catch kept or also catch released. We are now ready to run our query by pressing the display point button. In this demonstration the application is working on a dataset containing over 100,000 records. Thus you can judge yourself the stunning performance of the query task. But let's have a look to the first results we obtained. In the map view we have a point representation of the fishing set. We can zoom in and access additional information about each fishing set. Here we can see a list of attributes linked to the specific fishing set. Switching to table view, we can visualize the results of our query in table format. Our chart view offers a great and dynamic data representation, taking advantage of Google Chart APIs. At the moment, we offer a chart showing the total catch per month to highlight temporal patterns in the data within the year and the month. It will be very easy to add other types of charts such as pies, trend lines, etc. to represent aggregate statistics on other parameters. We can now see how, after changing our query criteria, the chart is quickly updated with new statistics. Let's select for example region BB and the species Wahoo. We can also add the criteria based on the vessel length. Let's say we want to select only vessel with length between 40 and 60 feet and the chart is quickly updated accordingly. You can see how also the chart scales varies according to the data represented. One more run before going back to map view. As you saw the point representation of the fishing set provides a detailed view of the data but does not highlight patterns in the underlying variables. For example areas of high total catch cannot be detected. In this case, methods such as density analysis and other type of aggregation analysis become essential. Our application allows to aggregate data on a user-defined grid. Thus, the second step of our analysis consists in choosing a scale of analysis by specifying an appropriate resolution for the grid that will be used to represent the aggregate data. Let's set a grid size of 1. With the algorithm we developed, even grids up to 50,000 cells keep processing time within a few seconds. Now that we have created our analysis grid, let's render it based on the values of our variables by pressing the Render Grid button. And voila, yes, already done. The application quickly aggregates data for catch, effort and fishing success on the selected points and represented them on a rendered grid. The application currently uses an equal interval renderer with 10 class of values dynamically generated from the values derived by the result set. Here we are looking at the catch grid, but we could select also to visualize, for example, the fishing success by using this menu. And you can see how the rendered updated accordingly. Let's go back to the query interface. While rendering the output, the user can specify a confidentiality factor. Confidentiality of data is another major aspect involved in fishery science. The option offers the possibility to specify the minimum number of data points to be used when representing results in the final map. This allows to produce outputs that can be shown and shared in an open environment. So let's set it to 10 and see how the output would look like. As you can see now, the grid contains some gray cell. Gray cells contain a number of data points below the confidentiality factor and we can verify this by zooming in. As you can see, each gray cell contains less than 10 data points and values from the cell were hidden. We would like to show you more, but unfortunately we ran out of time. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.